my name is John Otomon. I'm 17 years old. When you look at the floor, you just see it and say, oh, this should be easy to do. I hope it's easy. Well, you might be in for a shock, John. There's a lot of work and skill involved in laying and finishing a timber floor. And Stephen Heald will use his 16 years experience at just Harwood Floors to get you skilled up. If they've got a good attitude, that's 99% of the battle. The skills can be taught to just about anyone that wants to learn, but as long as they've got the good attitude, they'll work out fine, definitely. John. Hello. Hey, you, mate? I'm Steve. Welcome to Just Hardwood Floors. Uh, what makes you want to get into timber flooring, bud? Uh, basically, the practical part of it. But most of it's uh, actually putting the timber on the floor, but if you come inside, I'll show you a little bit more what we do, eh? Come on okay. in. Come. There are three types okay, of flooring is, uh, Stephen installs. Uh, Laminate is an artificial floor that is very hard wearing, while a timber veneer is a real wood bonded to fiberboard. And then there's what we're going to be doing today, which is uh, solid wood, traditional tongue and groove, uh, real wood all the way through, um, not sanded and coated, so we have to lay it, then we have to sand it, and then we have to coat it. So how about we head out to the side and we'll um, get some boards on the floor, eh? Right, Righto, first pun part, we get this uh, timber upstairs. One of the hazards of our timber flooring definitely is splinters. Splinters and slices from the timber because the edges is quite sharp. Rather than getting the timber all stained, and you're good to go. Thanks. Back to work. Because um, we're using a floor sander, we need to make sure all the nails are punched down by the surface so we don't hit them with the floor sander. So normally you need a nail punch, but I'm going to give you the play school version so you can't hurt yourself. It's got a nice soft rubber edge so you save your sands. Timber flooring covers everything from possibly lifting up existing floor coverings, prepping the subfloor, laying the boards of course, um, and then sanding and coating. Okay, now we're going to get into some floor sanding. Okay, you're strapped into it now, no getting away. The sander weighs 100 kgs and is so powerful it could get away if it's not tamed. There are two different apprenticeships in timber floor installation. Floor sanders study the certificate in fine sanding and finishes and are responsible for substrate preparation and the final sand and varnish. Um, generally it's either or in this industry, they're either a floor sander or a floor layer. There's not many that do both, so you mainly dedicate yourself to be a floor layer or a floor sander. Okay, it was a good start, but I think you're going to be here all day if we keep doing it like this, so I think we'll bring in the uh, professional and get him to get this floor sander, eh? The drum sander may have taken a bit to get used to, but John has a chance to redeem himself with the edging sanding machine. Important thing with sanding is always keep moving, never stop with the machine when it's going, but no, that is heaps better, heaps better. You must be starting to work up a sweat now, eh? <laughs> yeah. Once the site is clean, Stephen prepares to lay the first line of planks. The skills you're going to gain from doing an apprenticeship are going to be uh, things from being able to measure a job, draw a floor plan, know how to use a scale rule, the woodworking skills to lay a timber floor, how to use all the equipment, the power tools, hand tools. John, have you used a jigsaw before? Oh, yeah. You have? Cool. So you know the basics. Let's see how much damage you can do with it then, eh? Excellent. Not too bad. Nice. Yeah, perfect fit. The planks can be floated, nailed or glued to the floor depending on the type <laughs> used and the surface they are laid to. But John is going to get into the glue. Okay, time to get this in, mate. Here we go. It's getting better. Not the prettiest uh, glue line, but um, at least it's all on the floor and not on the walls. And not too much on yourself even, eh? Not too bad. Best result for laying a timber floor is a satisfied client with a uh, enduring floor that's going to last forever. This is the gun that makes it all happen. I know it doesn't look very flash, but believe me, it's our favourite tool. But, uh, it's called a secret nailer. Even though it's called a secret nailer, it fires a staple. The harder you hit it, the more tight it will cramp the board. Hit it as hard as you can. All you might, mate, as hard as you want, OK? All right, and give it a go. And clear. Now the floor is installed, it's time to get that fantastic final finish with some final fine sanding.
beautiful. It's a lot easier to use than the other one, eh? Yeah. The sanding is finished with a fine grit sander, but there are still those pesky corners to do. All the sanding machines we've got, none of them get into the corner. So unfortunately, the last bit in here, it's got to be hand scraped. My mother always told me, get a trade. Before you do anything else, before you travel, before you do anything else, get a trade underneath you. Once you've got a trade, you can always fall back on it. If you're even thinking about being a builder or a brickie or a sparky or a plumber, why not timber flooring? It's, there's no downside to timber flooring. It's... This is the glory part. Now it's time to put the polyurethane on the floor and let it come alive again. What colour is this? This is clear. Clear. This is just clear poly. I enjoy the variation. I enjoy the working with wood. I enjoy working with the guys I'm with. Don't cut yourself in that corner. Or maybe I should have let that. <laughs> so how'd you find that? Easy. Easy? Yeah. Oh, I need a bigger room next time. <laughs> the floor has been finished. So how did John do? He was good. He wasn't scared to get his hands dirty. He got in, gave everything we had a try. Uh, you know, had a little cut, got a bit of glue on him. And definitely not scared to work, not scared to get it mucked in, you know, he's excellent, I'd give him a job. Right, so all finished, how did you find that mate? Yeah, that was pretty fun, uh, heaps of teamwork though. Yeah, you think you'd like Tim before? Yeah, which part, installation or sanding? Um, installation. Installation? Yeah. yeah. Oh, definitely. I will try and do a apprenticeship for timber flooring. I uh, think it's a good job. There's much to it than just laying out the floor. If you'd like to become a qualified timber flooring or sanding specialist, depending on which strand you'd like to pursue, you'll need to complete one of BCITO's Level 4 National Certificates in Flooring whilst in employment as part of a managed apprenticeship. You will work under the guidance of an experienced flooring specialist who will provide you with on-the-job coaching and support throughout your apprenticeship. You will also have the guidance of a BCITO training advisor. There are no strict entry requirements to starting a flooring apprenticeship. It will help if you have good maths and English skills, as you will need to work out measurements, quantities and angles, and be able to understand instructions well. Building is not just a job, it's a professional career. It will take you around two to three years to finish your apprenticeship and get fully qualified. It costs from $950 to start, then $705 for each year of training after that. To start your career in flooring, contact the BCITO on 0800 422 486 or visit bcito.org.nz for more information. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.